Hey guys, Guitar Shop TV, we are here backstage at Harvell's in Santa Monica, California with one of the most exciting acts we've heard in years. Yes, you heard it here first. We're here with Vintage Trouble right here in Santa Monica, California. Guys, welcome to Guitar Shop TV. Cool. Uh, thank, thank you for having us. Now guys, uh, you've had an exciting year. You've been together about a year. Tell us a little bit about how the band came together and what the origins were. Um, Nolly and I have known each other for about 14 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been involved in some other projects together. and. You know, as great as some other things had felt, we just felt like there was something missing, or some things missing to our formula. So we just kind of wanted to, you know, find a bass player and a drummer that really kind of got the core of what we were about, which was kind of like a raw, primitive soul music. Right. And, um, you know, we just brought Rick in to play some bass one day. There was a session happening um, with someone that was playing drums with us, and they were out of town, so we got to have the fortune of calling Richard right away. Richard was like, yes. He came into the session, and from that moment on, we became Vintage Trouble. So it was meant to be. It was almost like, you know, Providence. It just kind of came together, right? Yeah. yeah. I no, would say it felt, it felt great from the very first downbeat, you know. I mean, it just was like, literally, one bar in, it's like, oh, this, yeah, is, this is where it is. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. You know, I want to ask you guys, as a guitarist, you know, there's always a, a challenge, but also a great freedom of playing with your lineup, guitar, bass, drums, and, and, and someone out front. For soul music, for R&B, what are the challenges? What are the challenges, how do you find it? Well, I mean, definitely when we started was to thought of make it really simple, and and of course, when you're a soul band, you see the three backup girls, right, and right, the B3 right. organ, and the horns, horn player, keys, all that stuff, yeah. So, rhythm guitar and lead guitar. Right, yeah. exactly, so exactly. we were thinking, like, how can we make it in almost like a Led Zeppelin kind of setup, right. and, and, and still be all about dance, and, and uh, it, yeah. it's been a little bit of a challenge, but it's re I've been so exciting, because I've been starting thinking in guitar in a completely different way. I think a lot, since he's, doing so, you know, he's pretty much playing guitar and bass, you know? But I mean, not blowing smoke. So, I mean, you guys as a rhythm section, I mean, are doing a great yeah. weave there. I mean, it's a great weave, it's extremely tight. And what, what, I, what I, I was actually very impressed with, you're just kind of layering it. You, you know mm -hmm. when to put it on, but it's also very layered and very subtle sometimes. Right. And it, and it works. And it works over your vocals, which are, which are incredible. Under my vocals. Under your vocals. <laughs> uh, sometimes over, sometimes under. <laughs> we all, we've all gone through the same thing, dude. Now, for our viewers all around the world, if they want to download your music, they want to buy your music, Amazon. how do they do it? I would suggest they go to VintageTrouble.com. Okay. Um, but if it's easier for anyone, they can get it at iTunes, Amazon. Um, I wish I could say, you know, Spotify. Tower Records, but you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but we're most excited too because um, we've just ordered vinyl, and um, Very cool. and in a special way. It's not even in the same way that you know everyone has that vinyl LP. There's going to be a something kind of special about it. That would be cool if we were in kindergarten. Let me hear you say, "Get it." Yeah! This song is called Get It, before what's to be got is gone.